Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava and I have quite the large book haul. So these are all the books that I have received, purchased, or were gifted since my last book haul. I don't even remember when that was, but um, my birthday has been since that point. Um, so quite a lot of these have been graciously gifted to me um, by some lovely friends and family members for my birthday. And some of them I bought myself, okay? I've, I've bought quite a few of these too. Um, so there are quite a few gaps in my shelves right now because I had to like redo a lot of my shelves to fit all of these books. Like I wanna say there's close to 50, maybe, I don't know. So let's just get into it. Um, I'm first gonna talk about uh, the books that I got for my birthday. The first one I have is Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan. This was gifted to me by Lizelle. Thank you so much. She is so incredibly sweet. Um, I'm gonna link everyone that I talk about down below if they also have a booktube channel um, because like they're amazing friends and amazing content creators. I love their stuff so much. Um, so yeah, I love this one. This one is about a ex hockey player. Um, he got one too many concussions and he now deals with uh, severe chronic migraines. And this is his romance with a celebrity of sorts who goes to say on his grandma's like property because she rents out cabins and it's grumpy sunshine. It's super cute. Thank you so much, Lizelle, for this one. I really enjoyed this book. Next, I have The Marriage Effect by Carla Sorensen. This was gifted to me by Melissa over at Book Bar. Another grumpy sunshine <laughs> romance. Can you tell I have a type? Okay. Um, Thank you so much, Melissa. This was so incredibly sweet. She got me another book as well, which is somewhere in this stack. So thank you so much. I'll When I get to it, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, But yeah, I really enjoyed this one as well. Um, this is a marriage of convenience romance that's contemporary, which is like a hit or miss for me, definitely. But this one definitely worked. So thank you so much, Melissa. Next is A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbert. A Talia Hibbert book. I love Talia Hibbert. I want to collect like all of her books. But um, this is one of the too many books that Zay from Winnie Reads bought me for my birthday. My bestie, Zay. I love her so stinking much. She spoiled me and got me quite a few books. So um, this is one of them. I really enjoyed this one. This is a neighbor's romance um, where there is autism representation as well. Grumpy Sunshine where the heroine is the grump. Ugh, I love this book so much. Thank you so much, Zay. She definitely spoiled me for my birthday. <laughs> Next is Nobody's Duke by Scarlett Scott. I got this one from Victoria, another bestie of mine. I love you so much, Victoria. You are so sweet. Her note in here like made me cry. <laughs> I love her so much. And um, this one is great. If you love Again the Magic by Lisa Kleypas, you definitely need to pick up this book. This is a like bodyguard, but second chance, they're like exes, thought the other one betrayed them, romance. Another book that Zay got me is Mickey Chambers, Shakes It Up by Cherish Reed. This one is super fun. This is a forbidden romance where the heroine is this guy's professor because he's a unconventional student. He goes to college later on in life. But then she also gets hired to be one of the bartenders at his bar that he owns. So it's like doubly forbidden because she's his professor and then he's her boss. So it's really fun, great, wonderful chronic illness representation. Zay Got Me Scarred <laughs> by um, Emily McIntyre. This is a Lion King retelling that I really enjoyed. If you wanna dip your toe into darker romance, but you don't wanna like, you don't know where to start, I feel like this series is a great starting point. They're like um, retelling, like Disney retellings, but if like the main character got with the villain instead of a good guy, um, and they're they're good, they're good. Um, this one was really fun and definitely like toucher and kill you vibes for sure. There's no note in this one, but um, I believe, if I remember correctly, this one's from Morgan from Nothing Better Than a Book. Thank you so much, Morgan. Sometimes with like gifts and stuff, like Amazon doesn't include the note, which I don't get. Like, come on y'all, include the note. So I know who this is from, <laughs> but um, I tracked down who this is from. So thank you so much, Morgan. This is a Britney Cherry book. One of those authors I'm trying to collect all her books. I read this one a month or two ago and really enjoyed it. it has really good plus size representation and just like the feelings you feel when you don't have a straight laced skinny body like I really related to the heroine in that aspect in here and like it has the fame trope in here but again if you know me I don't like the fame or celebrity trope this book handled it really well it's one of those books that I don't mind like the fame or celebrity trip, but I really, really, really love this one. So thank you so much, Morgan. Next I have Evil Twin by Katie Wilde. This is a fantasy romance novella that was so fun. Like you wouldn't think a novella had so many like plot twists, but it totally did. Um, and I just want to show off the back of this. Um, Brie from 11 Words got this book for me, by the way. 
Um, but look how stunning this book is. We both really enjoy this novella and I love Brie so much. Thank you so much, Brie, for gifting this one to me. It's gonna be going on my fantasy romance shelf. Next, I have Captured by the Orc General by Charlotte Swan. This was gifted to me by Joanna from My Cozy Book Space. Um, I love her video so much. I love her so much. She is so incredibly sweet. I love her to death. She is everything. Um, but I was actually a beta reader for this book. I got to beta read it. And it's so cool having this now on my shelves. This is a monster romance um, where the heroine goes on a quest to find her brother, but then she ends up getting caught in a like hunting trap. And it just happens to be one that like the hero like set for animals to hunt for. And um, he ends up catching her and bringing her back to his people. So, um, and she's like terrified of orcs. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Thank you so much, Joanna, for gifting this one to me. I can't believe I have this book in my hands, <laughs> but Riley sent this book to me. Riley from Riley Marie. I love you so much. Thank you. This book is absolutely stunning. Grace Draven is one of my favorite authors of all time. And like this book is absolutely stunning. It has the first two Wraith Kings books in here. So it has Radiance and Eidolon. It's absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that artistry. It's stunning. And it's like hardback. Like, it's so cool. And it has some really pretty like illustrations in there. Like you can kind of see, but like there's like these cool pages in here. Like it's really cool. Um, thank you so much, Riley. This was so incredibly sweet. We really connect over Grace Draven and her fantasy romances. So thank you so much, Riley. Jess from Peace Love Books gifted me Broken by the Horde King by Zoe Draven, which is my favorite book by this author and my favorite book in the series. One of my favorite books of the year. I love this book. So thank you so much, Jess. This means a lot. This is an alien romance um, that reads very fantasy-esque. If you want to get dip your toes into alien romances, don't know where to start, but you love fantasy romances, I really recommend this series. It's fantastic. And the aliens in this series aren't like alien-y too much. They just have like, as you can see, like their skin is slightly gold and they have different colored eyes, like gold eyes. Some of them even have red eyes and they have a tail. Um, so those are like the only differences. So if you want to like dip your toe in, this series is a great place to start. But I love this one because it's like childhood friends, I betrayed you and then come back to grovel at your feet to lovers. <laughs> so I really, really, really love this one. Thank you so much, Jess. Christy Reads A Lot sent me Fall by Claire Kent. I really love this novella. Um, a great Another, not like alien romance, this one is sci-fi. The heroine gets put onto a prehistoric planet and falls in love with essentially a caveman. Like it's really good. Like I love, I'm a sucker for the caveman romances. I don't know what to say. So um, thank you so much, Christy. This one is like one of my favorite little novellas. So I'm so glad to have it on my shelves. Lisa from Babe and Library sent me Take It to Nobu by Elizabeth Stevens. We both love this book. So I am so happy to have it on my shelves in my collection on my alien romance shelf. Um, this one definitely makes me have the like ice planet barbarian vibes because it takes place on an ice planet, but it deals a lot with like mental health and trauma from sexual assault. Um, so it gets pretty deep at times, but I really, really, really love this book. So thank you so much, Lisa. Another book that Zay got me <laughs> is Catch a Cradle by Katya Rose. This is a sapphic, a um, sapphic lacrosse. I was looking up that word. I was trying to figure out what that word was. Lacrosse. <laughs> sapphic lacrosse romance. They're both on the lacrosse team. This heroine is the captain and um, they're not supposed to like each other because it's like against the rules to be in a relationship with someone on the team, um, but they just can't help themselves. It's really good. If you want a book with fantastic queer representation, fantastic dyslexia representation, like I love this book. Thank you so much, Zay. She's spoiling me, she spoiled me. Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life sent me Battle Royal by Lucy Parker. This was one of the books that I read like a month or two ago and really enjoyed as well. If you want a full on baking grumpy sunshine romance, you have to pick this one up. Um, it gave me vibes of like the Great British Baking Show, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. I'm also a huge baker, I love baking. And so this book just like put a huge smile on my face, even when the hero is being a grumpity grump. Um, he is very straight laced with his cakes, like loves everything pristine and white and clean. While she likes the glitter and the sparkles and the boom, like she loves it all. And they have rivaling bakeries across the street from each other. Um, and they're both vying for the job of making the royal wedding cake. Super fun, super fun. Thank you so much, Crystal. This was so incredibly sweet of you. Then Jess from Honest Fiction sent me two books. <laughs> she sent me um, number five in the Perfectly Perfect series, which is Stolen Touches. 
and book seven burned dreams i love this series so thank you so much jess like they go in that little gap right there <laughs> um i love this series so much i'm on neva's arc team and like I love having books in my collection for books that like I had a part in in some way. So thank you so much. She was so sweet. She like sent this to me like a, a month ago and I was not expecting it at all. So thank you so much. Like I love these mafia romances. Again, if you want to get into mafia romances, I feel like these books, this series, the Perfectly Imperfect series is a great place to start. They have fantastic mental health disability chronic illness representation in them. Tori, my lovely friend Tori from Novel Life sent me Mantras and Minotaurs by Ashley Bennett. This is my first Ashley Bennett that I own and I love her books so much. So thank you so much. I'm so happy to have this on my shelves. This is a, uh, the third, third book, third book in her, uh, like Leviathan Fitness Monster Romance series where you see like humans get mated to or matched up with monsters. And you have a little bit of an unconventional romance because both of these characters are I think in their 50s if I'm not mistaken. She's actually the mother to uh, the two characters from book one and book two because their brother, the sister is book one's romance and then the brother is book two's romance. So this is their mom finding their romance which is super cool. I love Ashley that it did that. Um, and it's a long distance romance actually. And I really enjoyed this one. So thank you so much, Tori. Another book from Victoria. She spoiled me, okay. She got me Set the Record Straight by Hannah Bonham Young. I now own all of Hannah's books and I'm gonna talk about more of them in this video, but thank you so much. This was a, this is a sapphic uh, little holiday novella that is super cute, friends to lovers. I loved it so much. Like it just, you just wanna read a book that'll put a smile on your face. Look no further. So thank you so much. I love you. Here's the other book that Melissa sent me. She sent me Fire in Her Dreams by Ruby Dixon. She's so incredibly sweet. She saw that I hit 8K on YouTube, 8,000 subscribers on YouTube. And she sent this to me and to say, congratulations. You are so sweet, Melissa. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. This is, I think the second to last book in her Fireblood Dragon series. I don't own a lot of books in this series physically. I've read all of them multiple times, um, but I don't own them physically. I think I own two other ones. So thank you so much. I'm so happy to have this for my Ruby shelf. Like my Ruby shelf is just getting bigger and bigger. It's gonna be like two shelves at some point. So thank you so much, Melissa. You do not have to do that. You're so sweet. Next is A Lady Ruthless by Scarlett Scott. This was sent to me by Monica. Thank you so much, Monica. You're so sweet. And this is one of my favorite books of the year. So um, I, I am so happy to have this on my shelves. I love this book so much. So thank you so much, Monica. This means a lot. This is a kidnapping romance where the hero kidnaps the heroine and is like, you're gonna marry me. So I love those. I do. I don't like them in real life. No, <laughs> but put them in a romance book. Um, I'm a sucker for it. So thank you so incredibly much, Monica. Then I just had a bunch of friends like completely adding more books to my Ruby Dixon shelf. So this is y'all's fault that this is like overflowing now, <laughs> this shelf is. Um, so Aspasia, freaking Aspasia. She did get me an ebook. She got me um this one. I don't remember the name of it. It's by Lillian Lark. She's so sweet. She got me that ebook, but then she also got me five novellas for my Ruby Dixon collection. Five. Aspasia, what are you doing? You need to stop. She always spoils me and like, she needs to stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. She got me when she's married. A lot of these are part of the Ristover series. So this one is, this is a holiday novella. Um, she also got me Barbarian's Valentine, one of the books in the Ice Planet, Bar Ice Planet Barbarian series I did not own yet. So thank you. And then she also got me When She Dances, which is, I think, one of her favorites in the series, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is one of the books in the Ristover series. And then we have When She's Pregnant, which was such a fun book. This book made me cackle. I love it. Part of the Ristover series. And then another one, a part of the Ristover series that I didn't own yet is When She Is Wary. Thank you so much, Aspasia. Look at all the novellas. Like, girl, you need to stop. Y'all need to stop. I don't need five books. You're <laughs> you're too nice. Then two other Ruby Dixon ones. Nikki from Nikki and Buckland gifted me uh, the Alien Assassin's Convenient Wife. <laughs> this cover is interesting to say the least. 
Um, but I want to collect all of Ruby's books. So thank you so much, Nikki. I had this on my wish list for a reason. I want to collect all of her books. So thank you. Um, I think she wrote a book like this, like in collaboration with Katie Wilde. So, um, I think I read both of those. I don't remember. I have to check my Goodreads, but thank you, Nikki. You are so sweet. Another book from my Ruby shelf. And then another Ruby one is Off Limits. This was gifted to me by McKay over at Oh Hey, It's McKay. This is actually the, I think, first book in her Motorcycle Club series. Yes, Ruby Dixon has a Motorcycle Club series. It's not my favorite, but I do love this book in the series. This is a great start to the series. So Thank you so much, McKay. Y'all are spoiling me with all of the Ruby books. <laughs> the last two gifts that I have from my birthday are actually from my mom. Every birthday or Christmas, she ends up getting me a special edition classic book from Barnes & Noble for my collection, for my classics collection. I have a whole classics shelf. So the two that she got me are two white ones for the collection because I didn't own any white ones. Um, but this is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And just look at how stunning this is. Like I'm in awe of these collector's editions. Um, they're beautiful. They always have a bookmark in it and like beautiful pages as well. And um, it's so cool. Like these are so cool. And even the end pages, look at that. Look at the end pages. So my mom like spoils me with these. Um, and then the other one is even bigger than that one. This is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Like <sighs> beautiful absolutely beautiful another um, bookmark with gold pages and this is the end pages for this one it's like humongous <laughs> um but my mom is so sweet and on my birthday what I want to do on my birthday is go on like a book shopping spree I wanted to go to a bunch of bookstores in Houston um and that's what we did and I bought a lot of books so that's what the next part of this Hall is going to be um but she got me these two when we went into um Barnes and Noble so my mom is the best <laughs> okay so books I bought myself on my birthday let me get those okay this is the stack but I did also get historicals but we're gonna have a historical section towards the end so um all my historicals that I bought since my last one are gonna be towards the end of this video um because they're just all together right now I don't want to pick them out right now so first one that I found is my roommate is a vampire by Jenna Levine I found this one at half price books it looks really cute you see vampire I had to pick it up I don't know what it's about but I assume it's about uh, a roommate vampire situation <laughs> then when we went to half price books I found uh, desperate measures by Katie Robert for pretty affordable I think I got it for six dollars and um I don't own this one yet and this is a Aladdin retelling but if Jasmine got with Jafar it's really good then I found in the weeds by BK Borison and I got Love Like Farms by BK Borison I've heard amazing things about these books from my friends and I trust them with my whole heart so I think I'm gonna love these so many people have told me to read a book too so many people are like, Avery, you're going to love this book. So I need to read it, but I do want to start book one first. And also these covers are stunning. I'm in love with this cover artist. I love her so much. So um, I needed to get these. I think this one takes place during Christmas time of some sort. And then this one is, I think, like a social media influencer or something. I don't know. But people have been telling me to read it and then I'm going to love it. So I, I trust my friends. Then I found a Lucy score book. I've never read a Lucy score book, but I've never seen anybody talk about this one. The tagline for this one says, you don't fall for your brother's high school sweetheart, your boss's daughter, or your ex-wife's best friend, especially when they're all the same woman. Sounds forbidden. Um, but I've never seen anybody talk about this one. And I feel like this is like a, maybe a good place to start with her books so I'll give it a shot this one has been on my TBR for a little while okay this is fake it till you no fake it till you bake it there you go by Jamie Wesley look at look at those look at those people on the cover they are beautiful look at her dress she's absolutely stunning and then he is holding baked treats yes yes and I also think this has disability or chronic illness representation I don't remember what it is but um it has to do with baking and it has some type of representation in it. I am all for it. So when I saw it, I was like, you're coming home with me right now. Next is Cold World by, oh, the stickers covering it up. Alicia Thompson, <laughs> there you go. Gang stickers, but I've heard really good things about this one. It looks really cute. Um, and I think they work at like a bookstore or something, which 
That was really cute. And then the last one that I have is Something Wild and Wonderful by Anita Kelly. Chloe Lise literally recommended this book to me. So when I saw it at Barnes & Noble, I, I picked it up. I think they fall in love on a like hiking trail or something. I know that Zay loves this book as well. So I needed to have it. And then I do have more books. Don't worry, I have more books. Okay, that was the last of the books like I bought myself, if that makes sense, for my birthday. So um, let's get into these other ones, which I also bought myself, but <laughs> we'll get into it. First, I have these three books by Hannah Bonham Young. Hannah Bonham Young got picked up by a publisher, which I'm so incredibly happy for her. Um, but these covers are going to be going away because the covers are going to be changing possibly. So I had to get them because I love these covers. Out on a Limb is my favorite book of the year and I needed it. This is from actually Last Chapter Book Box. And um, when you pre-ordered from their bookshop, you got this art print that is absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite scenes in the entire book. I love it so much. This is my favorite book of the year and I need it in my life. And it is signed. You got a signed little sticker to put in. This is about Bo and Wim and it is a surprise baby romance. I love it so much. And then I also got Hannah's other two books. So um, first in the next series is Next of Kin. This is a roommate's romance um, and it is really good. And I really enjoyed book two, which is Next to You, which is Friends to Lovers, where they are trying to um, make a live-in bus, which is really cool. I really like that. So I love both of these and I just needed them before the covers changed because I love them so much. I love these covers a lot. And um, also like I needed it to match this one because you can see like the, the font even matches. It's so cute. Like I am so happy to have these on my shelves now. I was on the hunt with my friend Tabitha on Instagram to find the original Ice Planet Barbarian covers that we did not own yet. And so I went on the hunt last month, like full on, on the hunt online for affordable ones. I literally almost bought one for a hundred bucks. We're not gonna talk about it. I didn't do that, so don't worry. Um, but I was missing three books in the original Ice Planet Barbarian covers and I found them. The only one that I'm missing um, from the ones that are out of print right now is the Ice Planet Honeymoon Collection. So if you know where that is, please DM me because I need that. <laughs> anyway, first one is Barbarian Alien. This is Liz and Rahasha's story. Um, their book is the pink one in the uh, new covers. So yeah, she's a brunette on this cover, which she's not brunette. Um, but yeah, this one actually has like, it's really interesting because uh, Ruby Dixon first published it as like a serial. The first two books in this series were published as like serials. And um, so this is like laid out as a serial, which is very interesting. They don't have like chapters. It just has like part one, part two. I think there's like five parts or something like that. Um, wait, does it show right here? Yeah, part three, there you go, like part three. Like this used to be a serial online. So um, it's published in book form. So I think this is like such an amazing thing to have for my collection. Then I have uh, Barbarian Lover, which is book three, which is, where is it? It's the orange one right there. Um, this is about Kira and Ahako. They uh, have like a banter filled friends to lovers romance. And she's the one with the like ear device on her ear um, where she can translate for people. But um, again, I found the, I found this one in the original cover. I'm so excited. And like with that one, the same seller was selling Barbarian's Mate, which is Josie and Hayden's story, which is a fan favorite. Um, and I really enjoy this one as well. So um, I am so happy to have all three of these original versions in in my collection. Like I am so happy. Another series that are having their covers changed is the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. So I bought all the ones that are currently out. Um, I know Hopeless comes out fairly soon or in the next month or two. Um, so I will be purchasing the people versions when those come out. But I'm in love with the couples versions of these books like with the ones with the people on the cover so i've read all but the last book that's currently out so flawless is the bull rider one love this uh, but my favorite like everyone else is heartless oh, this, these covers are absolutely stunning i love them powerless is friends to lovers and then i haven't read this one yet but this is 
Reckless and it is a uh, surprise baby, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, I love these covers so much. They're absolutely stunning. And um, I am very happy to have them on my shelves. And I'm very happy for Elsie Silver that she got picked up by a publisher. That's why these covers are changing. Like I love how these authors are getting picked up by publishers, but I wish the publisher would just keep the covers because they're beautiful. Like I don't know why they want to change them. <laughs> Next are two books that Samantha from Books with Samantha bought for me. I bought them, I paid her back the money but she bought them for me and I paid her back <laughs> when she went to steamy litcon she got two books for me that I had been desperately wanting so first is rain me in by Kayla gross like I love this book so much it's a cowboy romance and um she even got it signed for me I love this one so much like it's it's so cute but it deals with like heavy topics as well it's really good if you want a cowboy romance Look it no further. And then she also got me that time I got drunk and saved a demon by Kimberly Lemming, like in the old cover. Like, I love this so much. If you want like rom-com fantasy romance, like these are the books you pick up and it's signed. Where is the signing page? I have to get to it to show it off. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> there we go. So thank you so much, Samantha, for picking these up for me. She like, is a gem. She's beautiful and amazing. Like I love her so much. Thank you so much, Samantha. Oh, another book that Zay got me is it a, like it's a cookbook. She got me a freaking Zay got me a freaking cookbook for my birthday. This girl, you need to tell her to stop, please. <laughs> but she got me gluten free baking at home, and like it looks absolutely delicious. It looks so good. Thank you so much. She's like she spoils me. I freaking love that woman. Like. Zay is everything. Oh, girl. Next are two books that were sent to me. So first is The Coldest Winter by Brittany Cherry. I am on Brittany Cherry's influencer team. So she sent each of us a copy of The Coldest Winter. It is a fantastic book by her. It's her most recent release. It is beautiful. It's signed. Um, this book made me sob, made me cry. I love it so much. So I am very excited to be on her influencer team. She is just everything. I just love Brittany so much. She is a beautiful soul. She is everything so i'm very happy to have this book on my shelves because it's a beautiful book then alexandra larson sent me her newest book which is ascend from the shadows which sounds really interesting i'm going to read the summary for you so it says amaya may mebson i'm really bad at pronouncing names i'm so sorry so amaya <laughs> had a plan to get her career back on track but it didn't involve fighting draxis or learning she was a descendant from a lineage of high magical priestesses. It didn't involve, involve being partnered with an insufferable playboy from Pointendale. It didn't involve fighting social injustices, uncovering government conspiracies, or navigating the deceptive politics of the corporate world. And it certainly didn't involve suppressing her powers compulsion, which demanded she seduce the mysterious foreign ambassador. And yet the only way Amaya can ascend from the shadows of self-doubt is to learn to harness her inner strength and powers sounds like really cool so i can't wait to pick it up so thank you so much alexandra for sending this book my way i hope to get to it very soon next i have a it's not an unboxing anymore because i threw out the box because i got this a, a little bit ago um but i got my faded romance book box for victoria abilene um this was their august box um for the first two books in the clicanian series so this is Choosing Theo, and this is Freeing Luca, and these exclusive covers, which I think are beautiful. I love them so much. Um, and they look even like stunning side by side as well. I hope they do the other books because like these are beautiful. I love the original ones too. Like I love those. I can love both of them, but they are beautiful. And they're also signed. So Victoria Adeline signed them in this beautiful gold marker. I love it. Um, but in that box, there was also a few other goodies. Um, this bookmark says, you are my home. Then this one says, a perfect score is 10. Um, and basically what these alien heroes are known for are going to husbandry school and they get like grades from how good they are to be a husband. And I love that. Um, and then there is this bookmark with um, all of the books that are currently out in the series. It's like glittery and stuff. It's so cute. And like, even like the top of it, look, it's like a star keychain. I love that. That's so cool. And then you have this little print that says you could betray me a hundred times over and I, and I fear I'd still fall at your feet. There were also some stickers. So let me show those off. 
This is one of their report cards from husbandry school. Um, you have one that says, catch me if you can, big guy. Mm -hmm. And then this one says, a little wife, and it's like shimmery. I love that. Um, there's also this book sleeve that is giving off the same vibe as uh, choosing Theo for sure. So I could always use more book sleeves in my life. And there was also a tote as well with that quote that I read earlier. Again, I can always use more totes to put more books in. <laughs> okay, the rest of these books are all historicals that I have added to my collection since my last book haul. And there are a few, so let's get into them. First one that I have is A Gentle Feuding by Joanna Lindsay. Anytime I see a beautiful Joanna Lindsay book, I have to purchase it. And it looks like this dude is nakey nakey. I think, I don't know, I can't tell. Um, but like, I don't even know what this book is about. I just, I collect her books. So I found this one, I think at a half price books. Apparently this was owned by Elaine in 1984, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this book before and it's like pretty old. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy to have this. I found another Johanna Lindsay. Look at this one. This is a pirate's love and it's pink. It is pink. Like it is beautiful. And then also look at the back of this, like them in the bed on the back. Like, ugh, I love it. I found this book and I am dying over it. This is a Give Me Tonight by Lisa Kleypas. Like this is an old Lisa Kleypas book. Like they don't look like this anymore. I've never seen this book before ever. Like <laughs> it is so pretty. It has the raised lettering. Again, I don't know what like any of these historicals are about. So don't expect a summary. I mainly buy historicals for either the author, the cover or the step back. Very rarely the summary, honestly. Well, sometimes the summary, um, but yeah, I'm a collector. What can I say? What can I say? This one looked really good. This is Love Storm. Oh my goodness. I see a pirate ship in the back and like pirate ships. Yes. And apparently this does take place on the seas, which I am a Pirates of the Caribbean loving girl and anything to do with pirates or anything like that, sign me up. I found a Karen Hawkins book for like 50 cents a half price book, so I got it. Um, I collect Karen Hawkins books. This one is One Night in Scotland and there is a step back in here. I love her dress. Like dresses also sell me for this book. I'm a dress girly, so like when I see a pretty dress, I need it. I got another Karen Hawkins. This is An Affair to Remember and um, it looks beautiful. And then you see the back, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like. Yes. I also have Rogue's Honor by Brenda Hyatt. I was very intrigued by this because I saw that the heroine has to pretend to be a maid in this Lord's house. <laughs> so like that sounds fun. Awaken My Love by Robin Schoen, Schoen, Schoen. Um, the cover drew me in, drew me in. Um, and yeah, that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, I found a Tessa there that I didn't own, which is A Lady of Persuasion, which is her third book in um, her original series. I have not read this one yet. It's the only book in the series I have not read yet. This isn't my favorite series by her, but I want to say that I've read all of her books, honestly, and own all of them because I love her books so much. I found Secrets of a Summer Night. I do own this book, but I own it in the version that doesn't have a step back. And so I found one with a step back. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, another dress I want to steal off her body. Like, look at... Mm. Beautiful, stunning. It's interesting though, because she doesn't have blonde hair, but then the heroine on the other cover does have blonde hair. So I'm trying to remember if this heroine has blonde hair or not. And I can't remember, I'm gonna have to like reread this. Another Lisa Kleypas that I found is Someone to Watch Over Me with this cutout, Step Back with a Flower. And uh, look at that clinch. Look at that clinch. I am obsessed with this clinch cover. Oh, it's beautiful. And the fact like the flowers play in right here too, and they're on the cover. I could stare at this one all day. I found this one for 50 cents with an awesome step back. This is Return of the Warrior by Clint Kinsley McGregor. And look at that one. It's beautiful. Love it. 50 cents for a beautiful step back. Yes. Okay. The last two books are Elizabeth Hoyt's. Um, I find them at half price books or used bookstores, but I'll only buy Elizabeth Hoyt books if they have step backs in them um, because like her step backs are awesome. And some of her books 
like they have like the non step back version and the step back version. I want the step back version. So this is Scandalous Desires, which is book three in her Maiden Lane series with a bathtub one, a bathtub one. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. And then the other one that I have is To Beguile a Beast, which I think is a Beauty and Beast retelling that people love. And there is the step back for that one. So that is my very large book haul. I've been filming for over an hour. I need to go drink some water. <laughs> um, but thank y'all so much for all of the wonderful, beautiful birthday wishes. Y'all are so incredibly sweet and like spoiled me. You did not have to do that whatsoever. I love what I do and I love all my friends. So thank you so, so much. I am so thankful to have y'all in my life. Um, and now I have to go put all these books away. <laughs> um, thank y'all so, so much for watching. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a book stack emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.